hello there. If you like the video in the next two seconds, you're a legend, mate. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to episode 15 of Royce 2 Glory. Now, as per usual, there's a catch-up of details from the end of last episode to this one. So, pretty much immediately after the end of last episode, EA released UCL cards again. Now, unfortunately, they're exactly the same as their normal equivalents, but they're just blue. Don't understand it either. But along with this, they also released UCL objectives. And I went out and completed all of those. And the cards that I scored with, because they had to be first owner, was UCL Pizzy, our first Champions League walkout of this series. Eventually, we got the two-player common UCL pack. We got Mason Mount and some random Spanish guy from La Liga, who we then used as our first owners in the squad to get our UCL rare card, which was the final thing that we got for completing the UCL objectives. And as a result, we got Demir Bine. Following on from this, we then went and did the player of the month, Carlos Vea SBC, using the Ibrahimovic that I had on my transfer market that I was just keeping there to sell for a better time. And I conveniently thought if we ever need Carlos Vea, his player of the month card looks very decent. And if we need first owner MLS objectives in the future as well, might as well do him because it was only like 20k to actually complete. And everyone I put into the squad was either first owner tradable or untradable. So it didn't really make much difference to how many coins I was spending on it. So effectively, we got Carlos Vega for pretty much free. And then on top of this, I've been playing quite a few drafts. And most recently, I'll bring you in live right now, I have won the draft. Ready! And as a result of winning the draft, I got a 50k pack, which doesn't happen very often. And it's now currently past six o'clock on Wednesday. So essentially tomorrow morning, there'll be a brand new set of rewards. The team of the week looks absolutely mental. And not only have EA dropped a team of the week, but they've also, this is huge by the way, brought back league SBCs. And the first one is the Bundesliga. If I wasn't doing gold upgrade packs, thinking that I can just get rid of these players, they are of no use to me because league SBCs are not coming back to the game. I probably wouldn't have done as many as I did. I've basically wasted so many gold cards. It would be useful for this Bundesliga League SBC that I will actually crack on and get through because I have a load of Bundesliga players, obviously because it's Royster Glory. And the beautiful thing about this Bundesliga SBC is that for some of the teams, like this Bayern one example, you only need six Bayern players, which is crazy. And you get a 35k pack back. So because the Bundesliga SBC has been released, the pack that I'm going to take at level 27 is going to be a Bundesliga Prime Players pack. And slowly but surely, I will be getting through the Bundesliga League SBCs. You can also see we've crept up over a million coins. And the next big purchase that I want to make is Kylian Mbappe. Now, this is the team that I'm looking towards building to. And I'm still completely undecided on what icons I'm going to get. As you can see, I've been, I've been debating it quite a bit of what kind of teams that we can build towards like end game teams. But you can also see that I've left the left wing spot free for a certain Barcelona left wing that's just been added to the game. I'm hoping that that's the theory. People leave space for the players that they're going to get in red rewards and then end up getting it because I would love a red 90 rated Griezmann. But I've waffled quite a bit so we're going to go on to our 50k and the 5k pack that we got for winning the draft. Okay so the first one we didn't actually get anything. I'm just going to skip that. Oh, you're probably, you might be worth a little bit. Of course you are. You're from the Bundesliga. And anything decent in this 50k pack wouldn't go amiss. So let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Give us some luck, please, boys. Please. Is it a, oh, it's definitely something. Oh, it's a screen. Oh my God, we got a screen. Portugal. Is this William Carvalho? It is, but we got a screen. I packed my first screen. What a pack. 86 rated walkout, which means there could still be other players in here. I can't believe it. We got a screen card. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Right, so this pack is actually already worth. William Carvalho is currently going for, I can't imagine much, because I think he's the lowest, but 40K. Wow, 40K card for William Carvalho. That is, oh my God, and two informs. What? <laughs> what the hell? That's a good, all right. Thank you, EA. I know winning the draft was hard enough in itself, but I'll take the 60K that that is. An 82 rated Spanish inform, decent. You, probably not worth anything. Uh, discard inform, we'll compare your price anyway. Oh, you actually do go for something. Wait, what? Oh, it's because you've just been released. I'll just set you for 12, see if that works. And then Carvalho, do I keep him? Now, that is the question. Do I keep this William Carvalho card? Prob he's probably going to go down because of rewards, surely. So, unless I'm going to use him in the weekend league, which I'm probably not going to, it's worth me selling this guy on for 42k. We've made way more back from that than I could have ever imagined from the draft. I can't believe we packed a screen card. That is so good. I've actually finally got one. That inform sold straight away. 
I wonder why. I think it's because we're genuinely like 10 minutes past the hour. And also as a result of the UCL promo that's currently going on as well, there is another SBC out, the Champions Path. And I'm going to actually use the demo buy that we got as the... Uh, UCL rare player. Now the problem is Bundesliga um, SBC has just come out full chem team or uh, as close to one as possible without using Bundesliga players. Now I need to I need to be aware of players that I end up packing in rewards and stuff and whether or not they will sell new league SBCs come out and now I have to start thinking about what to keep and what to sell and I can't just chuck everything into a goal upgrade and that should be everything. Yeah that's perfect. Alright so we get a mega pack now as well. Can we top Scream Carvalho. This could be de this could be decent. Oh, it's just the board. What have we got in here? Tadic? Striker. Oh, Jovic. Hmm. Interesting. He's from Real Madrid as well. And that is still going on, that SBC. So is he worth anything more than 2k? No, he's 1.6. We got any blues in here? Blues might sell. No blues. We have got Horadiki. How much is Theo Hernandez going for as well? He's still quite expensive. Hoping for the William Carvalho to sell. How much is Mbappe at the moment as well? Will Mbappe come down with rewards? Mate, I can afford Mbappe! <laughs> but this could be this could be the difference in weekending, boys. I've used, he's the reason that got me that 50k pack from the draft. Do I just wait for rewards and build my team around who I get? <sighs> The thing is, I've got to wait for tomorrow. I just didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen. Dortmund players, how many do we have? It's 78 team rating. Obviously, player prices for Dortmund, Bundesliga, everything are through the roof at the moment. But do I have enough Dortmund players to get by? Hit one, two, three, four, five, six. Six that I actually could viably put in. <laughs> Hey, there we go. The William Carvalho has sold for 42k. In terms of objectives as well, yes, I've actually missed some of the weeks. Like, I think I missed week two gold, so I'm not as high up as I should could, or should be. But I need 50 XP. Does anything give me 50 XP? Win one match, play two matches. Oh, gold pack, 50 XP. Bang on 50, actually. Six goals in a mystery ball. All right, let's do that then. As always, guys, if you're new around here, haven't plugged this yet, which is uh, unlike me. We are on the road to a million subscribers, so if you have just seen this for the first time, you're new to Royce to Glory and you want to continue watching the series, if you subscribe, you can keep up to date with when the videos come out in your sub box. But let's get cracking with a mystery ball game, eh? Okay, then, here we go into one of my favourite things to actually do on the entirety of FIFA 20. I can just sit back, relax, have a bit of a laugh. Hopefully this guy doesn't take it too seriously. All I need to do is score. Uh, how many goals do I need to score? And he's not playing already. It's just a good fan. Thanks, mate. My Tweedy. <laughs> it was so, so quick he actually got on the end of that. And by the time he shot, it was already out of play. Havertz! Oh, saved by All Black. Royce! Oh my gosh. I need six goals here. Oh my, this All Black is crazy good. Shooting boost times one. Get our head on this and get a goal. <laughs> Holy moly. This should be 1 0 to him. If it's not, I'd be very surprised. Saved by Chesney. Beast of a goalkeeper, lads. Ah, that's 1-0. I know we tramped it, but <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I've got I've got to get six goals. Does that make me an awful person because I've tramped it in friendlies? Probably. Oh, my gosh. I've just ran through his. Dink. Uh, no. When you've got... Oh, no. Oh, great goal. Well done, mate. <sighs> Having to judge the runner and then all of his other runners off the, off the ball as well. Nice. Of course, I'm going to have to sweat that again, mate. Sorry. I'm coming for goals. I'm going to skip the replay because it's not fair. Now, Bree. Oh, it's saved by PK. Shooting boost times two. Could do with this going in. Uh, it's going to go out again. We're not going to get the shooting boost. Quick, 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 quick. Nice, nice. Now, Bree. Yes! And we got it as well. 3-1 with three goals away. That's going to be half time. Very fortunate that it actually came back to us after saved by Oblak. Okay, so we need as much pace as we can get. So I'm going to stick Carlos Vea up top. Good goal. Yeah, he, he sweated as much as I did. So fair play, mate. If you're going for the six goals as well, once I get six, I'm more than happy to give you them. Goal. Gotta be. You can't miss that with a shooting boost. 5-2 now. Oh, we're in. 
There we go. That is six. We have our checkpoint. I'm going to let him have a few goals. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Get your goal. Get your goal. Good lad. Oh, he's missed. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yes. There we go. Well done. Three more left for your pal. And then let's have a proper game. Pretty sure you're only playing this because of objectives. And if you are, more than happy to give you another goal. Shoot. Shoot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you not... Go for the goal. Shit. Are you okay, lads? This is embarrassing to watch. Yes, there you go. Oh, for God's sake. Yes! Go on, shoot! Oh, he's missed! I'll take them. I'll take them. You know, if you're not going to score your goals, mate, I'm going to score mine. Dinks it over the keeper, and it's off the crossbar. Back to... If you're not going to score your goals, mate, I'm going to score mine. There we go, it's another goal. <laughs> goal. Yes! Ten goals! No, I'm just going to let you run through. Come on, man. Come on. Keep running. Keep... Why are you passing it backwards, dude? I'm trying to avoid you. There you go. Run through me. Go on. Run through me. Good lad. Shoot. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Shoot. Hey! Right, one more, and then you've got your checkpoint, I do believe. The FIFA community isn't so bad after all. It's a times three. Woo! Yes. Oh, my God. He's actually missed. He red-timed it from an open goal with a times two shooting boost. That it, that says it all. And that is 12-5. There you go. There's all six of your goals that you needed. Good job. Oh! <laughs> that says everything about FIFA, man. All boost is the first one of the game. Finish that. There we go. Three goals, 15-8. That's the first all boost of the entire game. What? You're going to end the game there, Riff? I could have got 18 goals. Oh, never mind. At least we did it. And we did it in a reasonably decent environment. I gave the guy goals. Hopefully, he's done his checkpoints. I definitely didn't mind. Look at those stats. Oh, my lord. <laughs> hey, 230 XP, which means that we're... Yeah, we are level 26 now in the seasons. See what we get in this gold pack. Absolutely nothing. Didn't expect anything from it. But any low-rated Bundesliga players? Oh, got player pick pack. Nice. Schmelzer. Woo-wee! How much are you, Marcel Schmelzer, unless you're untradeable? You are untradeable, so it's worthwhile us taking him anyway for the Dortmund SBC. How much is Kylian Mbupi? He's come down in price. Is he coming down or is he going to go back up eventually? Let's see if that's it. I try and snipe one. If people list him for. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! No way! Oh my lord! I would have had a UCL Mbappe! Holy crocamoly! That would have been the biggest moment on the series so far, by a mile. I can't believe that popped. 920k for Mbappe, that would have been. I'm definitely going to get an Mbappe, but getting him for 900... I thought I did all right there. I, I did all the... Mechanically, I, I did it absolutely perfectly. It's rather frustrating, actually. Oh! Yes! We'll take it! I know it's nowhere near the price that we've just seen the Mbappe for, but... 1,022,000. I probably should have set it a little bit lower. But we have Mbappe! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the biggest purchase of the entire series. Kylian Mbappe is now in the club. It, with And a hunter as well. With the hopes that we can get Griezmann tomorrow morning. I think that is where we're going to end the episode. Because I, cannot sim I simply cannot believe we've seen that Mbappe for 920k. If I got that... That would have been insane. But I'm hoping that his price goes up tomorrow as opposed to down because he's so meta. He's one of the best cards in the game. The chances of me seeing that 921 again is just impossible. Let's put Mbappe into our team. But ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to end the episode. This is a huge moment in Royce the Glory. We've picked up Kylian Mbappe for 1,022,000 coins. I was so close to getting one for 920k and a UCL card, no less. But I figured I'd just get an Mbappe when I can, and now we can build up more coins to get 
other players because now I don't have to think about getting Mbappe because we got him. Still a little bit in shock at the fact that we've just seen that UCL Mbappe for 920k. I know it's been a little bit of a mismatched one because tomorrow's is rewards. I kind of wanted to catch up on everything that happened before new rewards and div rivals, etc. As always, though, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Adios.